Hey guys, Nima here. Welcome back to my channel where I talk about everything personal finance and I give new updates on what we see in the financial market that might have a direct correlation to information that you need to know. In today's video, I'll be covering some of the significant changes that we'll be seeing in 2024 for individuals that are retired and what they can expect with their finances. To be more specific, it looks like there's going to be taxes on social security benefits and increased Medicare costs. Now, just as a heads up, this could impact any retirees' budgets. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start with the good news. Inflation as of late has slowed down a bit and the stock market is actually doing fairly well. This means that people's retirement savings accounts are growing again. And also starting in January of 2024, those retirees getting social security will see an increase of 3.2% in their money due to the social security cost of living adjustment. This is otherwise known as COLA and they will see this increase adjustment in their monthly checks, making retirement more comfortable for any retiree on social security going into 2024. Now looking ahead, there are more changes coming for retirement as well. These adjustments for inflation and a new retirement law called Secure 2.0, signed by President Biden in late 2022, will bring significant changes. This is basically an act that is designed to encourage more employers to offer retirement plan benefits and more employees to participate in saving for their future. So guys, here's a snapshot for what's ahead for retirees in 2024. First on the list is the potential tax bill on social security benefits. There's potentially a new concern for retirees' budgets when tax time for 2023 rolls around in April of 2024. And I quote, because Social Security recipients received a high COLA of 8.7% in 2023, we expect more beneficiaries to become liable for federal income taxes on their Social Security benefits for the first time in upcoming 2024 tax season. And this was stated by Mary Johnson, a Social Security and Medicare policy analyst for the Senior Citizens League. So guys, essentially about 40% of people who get social security must pay for federal income taxes on their benefits according to the Social Security Administration. Now, if you file a federal tax return as an individual and your combined income from all your sources, including your social security benefit, is between $25,000 to $34,000, you may have to pay an income tax up to 50% of your benefits. If your income clocks in at more than $34,000, then in that case, it's up to 85% of your benefits that may be taxable. For joint filers, if you and your spouse have a combined income between $32,000 and $44,000, you may have to pay an income tax of up to 50% of your benefits. If you're making anything more than $44,000, then it's up to 85% of your benefits that may be taxable. So guys, this situation is neither inherently good or bad. It just depends on individual circumstances. Whether this is seen as positive or negative varies. On one hand, it might mean less money available from Social Security due to taxes. On the other hand, it could signify higher overall income, which might still be advantageous despite the taxation. So the second ticket item happening is changes to retirement account rules. Now, if you're sitting on unused funds in your 529 education accounts, please take notice. Starting in 2024, you can roll those savings over into a tax-free Roth IRA. However, there are some restrictions, of course. For instance, there is a $35,000 lifetime cap and rollover amounts cannot exceed the annual contribution limit for Roth IRAs. So if you're under 50 years old and you have $35,000 in unused 529 assets, you could roll over $7,000 per year over a five year period. But of course, this contribution limit may change annually and the 529 account must have been open for at least 15 years. 
Now for 2024 and the later years to come, in a 401k or 403b plan, they are no longer subject to required minimum distributions, otherwise known as RMDs. These are the minimum amounts that you must withdraw from your retirement accounts each year when you're 73 years or older. Generally speaking, if you participate in an employer-provided retirement plan, you can delay taking your RMD until the year that you actually retire, and Roth IRAs do not require withdrawals until after the death of the owner. Now, the third ticket item on this list is that moderate social security increases. So again, guys, retirees will receive a 3.2% cost of living adjustment. That will boost the average retirement benefit by $59 a month from $1,848 to $1,907 on average. And this again will start in January according to the Social Security Administration. Now this adjustment will provide some relief to the more than 70 million retired senior citizens and disabled workers, but it may not be enough to satisfy retirees and their ongoing budget concerns. More than two thirds of older adults say that their monthly budget for essential items such as housing, food, and prescription drugs is 10% higher than just one year ago. So many retirees will probably be underwhelmed with this advancement. Now the fourth and last ticket item on my list is higher Medicare expenses. Higher costs for Medicare overall may use up a chunk of that COLA bump. The standard monthly Part B rate is rising from $164.90 to $174.70, snipping about $10 a month off of the COLA gain. The annual deductible for all Medicare Part B beneficiaries will be $240 in 2024, and that's an increase of $14 from the $226 found back in 2023. Now, people with traditional Medicare generally pay a monthly premium for physician coverage, Part B, and for prescription drug coverage, Part D. Those premiums vary by plan. Some people pay a monthly premium for inpatient hospital coverage, Part A. Many retirees will also face higher Medicare Part D prescription drug premiums in 2024. Overall, average monthly premiums for Part D will be substantially higher in 2024, according to an analysis that was done by the Kaiser Family Foundation. The national average monthly Part D premium is projected to increase 21% in 2024 to $48. And in that case, that is 21% higher from the $40 that was found back in 2023, again, according to the Kaiser Family Foundation. So guys, beginning next year, under the new law, the Inflation Reduction Act, no more than a 6% annual jump in Part D based premiums is permitted. That said, insurers have to adjust premiums, co-pays, and deductibles that consumers actually pay. Higher income folks will pay even more, unfortunately. If you earn more than $103,000 in a given year as an individual or more than $206,000 if you're a joint filer, then you'll pay an extra amount ranging from $12.90 to $81 per month in 2024. Most people have that extra charge taken from their social security check automatically. So again, as we approach 2024, retirees face a landscape of mixed blessings. The 3.2% boost in social security benefits offers some relief, yet the looming taxes on these benefits and escalating Medicare expenses pose different challenges. Changes in the retirement account rules bring opportunities, but they also come with constraints. This year emphasizes the importance of adaptability and proactive financial planning for retirees. So my advice guys would be to get a jump on what to expect for next year right away. Please plan yourself effectively. Navigating these changes requires a careful balance between maximizing benefits and managing potential increased costs. It's crucial for retirees to stay informed, seek guidance, and make informed decisions to secure their financial well-being in the ever-evolving landscape of retirement. Now guys, if you found this video helpful, please go ahead and share it with anyone else who is retired and receiving Social Security or Medicare. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to drop them in the comments down below. And of course, please don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring that notification bell for more videos every week. I'll catch you all in the next video.